It was another hectic day for Xia Baolong as Beijing's top official on Hong Kong affairs met lawmakers, barristers and the heads of disciplined services. LegCo President Andrew Learn described Xia's legislative visit as historic. Day four of Xia Baolong's Hong Kong tour began with a visit to the legislature. Accompanied by Chief Executive John Lee and Liaison Office Director Zheng Yan Xiong, Xia toured the Legislative Council complex and met around 80 lawmakers. According to LegCo President Andrew Lun, Xia was briefed where and how anti-government protesters stormed the facility in 2019. From what we gather, you know, uh, Mr. Ha in Beijing knew everything happened in LegCo. Learn described Xia's LegCo visit as historic, saying it would have been impossible in the old days because of the chaos and unruly behavior by the pandemocrats. It's historic is that now it's very peaceful. Uh, we all welcome uh, uh, this meeting and we have very good exchange. But the media were shut off from the three and a half hour tour. Learn refused to disclose details of the conversations, only confirming there was no discussion about Article 23, the city's own national security law. Tik Chi Yun, the only lawmaker not affiliated with the establishment camp, said he had tried to raise a question in the meeting but was not selected. He claimed he would tell Xia that many Hong Kongers are pessimistic towards the city's future due to shrinking freedoms, as well as the lack of diversity in Let's Go. Xia's busy Sunday continued with a meeting of the Bar Association. Meeting the press afterwards, Association Chairman Victor Doss felt Beijing places great importance on Hong Kong's judicial system. Beijing's top man in charge of Hong Kong affairs then made his way to government headquarters in Tamar where he greeted the heads of the disciplined services. They included Police Commissioner Raymond Xu, Immigration Director Ao Ka Wang, and the Head of Customs Louis Ho. Security Chief Chris Tang said Xia told the top officials to remain alert for potential activities which endanger national security.